Georgie Porgy Puddin' and Pie kissed the girls and made them cry. When the boys came out to play, Georgie Porgy ran away. Hmm. Georgie Porgy is a very popular traditional English rhyme dating back again to the 19th century. It's been around for a while. You know, some people even link the lyrics of Georgie Porgy to British historical figures, including King George I and George VA, who was the first Duke of Buckingham. Some others view this poem as a taunting rhyme, a verse that is actually making fun of or ridiculing people. It may have been a poem to taunt royals, Brit British royalty at that time or to make fun of other people. Listen to it again. Georgie Porgy Puddin' and Pie kissed the girls and made them cry. When the boys came out to play, Georgie Porgy ran away. Can you hear the taunting in this poem? Can you hear the unkindness in this poem? Sure. Georgie made the girls cry and then he was chased away. Well, none of this makes me feel very happy. Maybe it's a lesson on how we should treat each other. I surely would not want to make you cry. And I wouldn't want to be chased by someone else. What about you? Well, we've been taught that we should be kind to each other. This is very true. And Jesus even told his disciples to be very careful as to how they treated other people. In Matthew 5, he said, Listen to what I tell you. Do not be angry with a brother or a sister. Anyone who is angry with them will be judged. And again, anyone who says to a brother or sister, Raka, it's a bad word, must stand trial in court. And anyone who says, You fool, will be in danger. Hmm. The Bible also gives us some very good words of encouragement. In Ephesians chapter 4, we read this, Please, get rid of all hard feelings, anger, and rage. Stop all fighting and lying. Don't have anything to do with any kind of hatred. Be kind and tender to one another. Forgive one another, just as God forgave you because of what Christ has done. And Romans 12 verse 10 says, Love one another deeply. Honor others more than yourselves. Now, you all know, most of you know, if not, you're going to find out that I do not have a lot of hair on the top of my head. That's right, I have a bald head. <laughs> and I am okay with people teasing me about my bald head. It can be fun. Do you know there's a story in the Old Testament that I have always found interesting? The story is about the prophet Elijah, who also had a bald head. It's found in 2 Kings chapter 2. It goes like this. The prophet Elisha left Jericho, and he went up to Bethel. And he was walking along the road, and some boys came out of the town. And boys will be boys, I guess. And what they do? They made fun of him. And they said, get out of here, baldy. Get out of here. You don't even have any hair on your head. Nah, 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 nah. Well, he turned around and he looked at them. I don't think Elisha was very happy about that. And then he asked for some bad things to happen to them in the name of God. And two bears came out of the woods and they attacked the boys. Oh, my. Yeah. Now, I'm not going to call for bears to attack you if you tease me. No. However, I do want you to promise me that you will be kind to your friends and even to people you don't know. And not to call them names. Not like Georgie Porgy. No. It is good to be kind to our friends and to others. And so today, I hope that your day is filled with goodness to others and that people are good to you. And I hope that you have a day that is definitely filled with peace.